Hey, Hound Dogs, I'm David Hankins. And I'm Paul Hankins. And on this episode, we're going to talk about writing a comic book. That's right. So at the end of it, you'll end up with something like this, and we'll tell you how to get there. Now, this video assumes that you already have an idea, you already have your word processor of choice, and that you have knowledge of basic storytelling. So the purpose of the script is to try to communicate with your artist what you want on the page and where you want it on the page. And it's really important to make sure that you give them as much detail as possible so they know what you're talking about. If you are the artist, then this will be a lot easier. One thing that you will sometimes have to work around is you might have a way of saying something. You might be trying to uh, have them show something that they may not have an idea what you're talking about. Right. We had that issue uh, with our artist. I was trying to communicate something that happened to me as a child, which was, you know, mom reaching out to stop you from going through the windshield. And with seat belts and airbags, nobody knew what I was talking about. And there was no, there was no really no images out there to uh, find this show, this in action. Yeah. So the closest that we could get was I found an image in My Hero Academia that sort of communicated that same thing. Right. So you have to try to make sure that you're uh, communicating in a way that they also understand what you're talking about. Yeah, but if you need a visual reference, you can include images in a script if you need to. Right, which we've done. Now the big question is, what format do I use for my comic book script? Well, fortunately, there is no right or wrong answer for that, really. But we can give some ideas. Right, for us, we just use simple word, and we're pretty basic in what we're uh, sending to the artist. Uh, basically, it's a by panel, what we want in the panel, what who's speaking, what sound effects, and whatever action is going on in our script. Now there are some alternative formats. For example, Dark Horse has their own guidelines if you're trying to submit to them. As you can see, uh, if you look at websites for other publishers, and then there's also the comics experience format if you want to use something that's cleaner and perhaps more sophisticated than ours. So now that you figured out what action you're going to have, you also need to have dialogue, which is what the characters are saying uh, in the panels. Yes. I don't think we're necessarily really good sources for that because I think we tend to go on a little long. <laughs> uh, but there are other writers that have better ideas. Yes, for example. Alan Moore said, If you got six panels on a page, then the maximum number of words you should have in each panel is 35. No more. That's the maximum. 35 words per panel. Also, if a balloon has more than 20 or 25 words in it, it's going to look too big. 25 words is the absolute maximum for balloon size. Once you've taken on those two simple rules, laying out comics pages, it gives you somewhere to start. You sort of know, okay, so six panels, 35 words to a panel. That means about 210 words per page maximum. So if you've got two panels, you have 105 each. If you've got nine panels, it's about 23 to 24 words. That'll be about the right balance of words and pictures. As in all writing, the most important thing is to get it down on the page. But once you've done that, you're not done. You're probably gonna have to rewrite it. And you may have to rewrite it several times to get it exactly the way you want it and the way that your collaborator or other people who read it for you will tell you it needs to have changed. Yeah, we usually hit about like eight or nine drafts before we go forward with it. Right. Now one thing to keep in mind, unless you are also the artist of course, is that comic books are a collaborative medium. Right, so you will send off your script to your artist. Expect them to give you feedback on it. Uh, we send our script off to Rachel and she will come back with maybe eliminating a panel, moving a panel from one page to another because she thinks it helps the story. And a lot of times, you know, she has a degree in sequential art and I don't and we don't. So we listen to her and a lot of times her ideas are better or they improve the story. So you have to be open to that. Your script is just printed on paper. It's not you know, in cement. Now, of course, there are other resources out there that can help you with more specific aspects of writing comic books. But one book we would like to recommend specifically is Understanding Comics by Scott McCloud. It breaks down the history of the medium as well as the unique elements of comic books and how they have been used. We hope that you've enjoyed this special episode and that you've learned something about writing comic books. If this was helpful, leave a comment or write to us at info.com. 
And also consider uh, leaving a like if you like this video, subscribe if you want to see more, ring the notification bell if you want to see exactly when these videos go up. And if you'd like to support the channel directly, you can go to powersquareconflict.com slash shop where you can pick up issues of Power Squared as well as some merch like this. So until next time, I'm David Hankins. And I'm Paul Hankins. Thank you.